I woke up one morning after showering. I walked out into into the hall by the closet, the one that housed the AC unit and vents. I heard this little rumbling, like a small twiddling through some plastic bags. The ones that I had kept some nails in for the the lining and my, my uh, for my telephone and my Ethernet uh, the Ethernet cables. It was a possum. It was still alive. Still alive. It was alive. Just his nose was twitching. He or she. It. It was still a baby. It. It must have fell through the gap from the ceiling and ventilation duct, leading to the vent out of the roof. He was alone, and there was no food, no water. Scared, I'm sure, or perfectly content. I'm. No, I'm no possum, so. It was a little hard to empathize with its circumstances of being there all alone. No home or, or mother. Some utility closet. <clears throat> In a tool bag. In a tool bag. Cold. <laughs> I called the maintenance guy in our complex and reported I had a loose varmint in my household. I mean, I meant no harm. My cats were flipping out, trying to claw under the vents, pawing at the door and chipping away at the wood, trying to get at it, sniffing and hissing and investigating, prowling, hunting, the loneliness that wept on the other side of the door and the innocence, the young life. The very next day, the little intruder was gone, supposedly taken away and caged. Maintenance people were going to release the varn into the wild. And Kenny, the maintenance manager, told me, well, now this is weird. The next week, get this, the next week I found another possum. It was another possum. Same size, same nose, identical in nature, but, but it was dead. I think I'm no possum, but I do believe they are known to play dead in self-defense, but this one wasn't moving his nose like the last time. It smelled dead. Surely it found its way or, or fell through a, a, a gap and got trapped, and that was supposedly a, a repair. Uh, gap or, or something that was uh, there for some reason in the utility closet they were doing some type of work and it, it must have fell down searching maybe smelled its mother or brother or sister or whoever was first discovered and caged and get and, and guess guess what it was it was released into the wild I figured the dead possum must have starved to death no food, no water. I mean, that's what happens to life when trapped in a utility closet and shut off from the world. Behind a closet for too long. At last, to this little guy, this moment of life, abandoned, forgotten, or maybe Kenny killed the initial possum and planted it there. I don't know. I never released it. I'm paranoid like that. But to be cruel, no, I mean, I don't know. I mean, maybe not. These are the things I think of now. Pick apart like a detective. Analyze. And to keep away. I, I want to keep me away from the image of her. To stop me from remembering. Something to focus.